Hi everybody, my name is Polana Rusev. I'm chairperson of e-Academy, organizer of Webit, e-Business and e-Marketing Expo for Southeastern Europe and maybe the biggest in Central and Eastern Europe with 4,300 people registered. And uh, fantastic keynote speakers. I'm, uh, I have the honor to present to Mr. Pris Pluta. Welcome, Welcome to Webit. Thank you, happy to be here. PayPal Poland, uh, country manager for PayPal Poland. I appreciate you being here. I hope you had a good show. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I will, yeah, it was, was fantastic. It's nice to be in Sofia. It's nice to be in Bulgaria. Thank you for having me. I think last time I was here was 26 years ago as oh, a kid for holidays. On. So <laughs> it's, it's played somewhere. <laughs> Let's see <it> together. <laughs> exactly. In Burgas. So it's, it's very nice to be here. And it's amazing how the market has developed, you know, how the country looks. And it's really fantastic. And, you know, congratulations for Webit. Great Thank event. you. Thank you very much, sir. All right, uh, Prismek, what are your expectations for the development of the of the e-commerce and electronic payments in C? Let's talk about the electronic payments first in okay. the C region of Central Eastern Europe. Sure. Uh, so I think you know, online payments are are the payments of the future. So I think you know, the more people are used to that, the more they accept online payments. Either it's an online bank transfer payments, alternative payments like PayPal. Uh, credit cards, payments online, you know, that, that's actually better for the e-commerce. That's going to grow with e-commerce because it improves trust, it improves reliability, people feel better and secure, and it actually also speeds up the process of getting the order, yeah, because no one has to wait for, you know, cash on delivery or any other means. So it actually has a great impact, and I think it's going to grow. I mean, we see that in Western Europe, in Poland, that initially big chunk of the e-commerce payments are actually cash on delivery. So the postman comes to you, it gives you the good, you pay the cash, or you go to the best office, you pay the cash. Whereas, you know, here it's actually not, not really necessary. It's better for the buyer, it's better for the merchant because he gets the money right away. So I definitely see a big shift towards online payment methods and obviously for, for PayPal. Yesterday we discussed at the panel that there are about four, there are much more, but we, we kind of uh, come up with three major factors, infrastructure, Yeah trust and delivery correct so are uh, those the, the 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 factors that you expect to develop in in the region and then paypal to 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 launch their services uh, in in total services right. for the region yeah so it, very good question i think obviously paypal is already available in bulgaria course, so yeah. we have you can open up an account you can send money abroad you can buy things using paypal you can even receive money and you can withdraw it to your bank account unfortunately mm -hmm. leva is not yet available but definitely it, it, it will be in the future or bulgaria will join the eurozone and the it problem will, so it will, be. will solve itself if you itself. don't make it until then exactly it will happen, hopefully so that's, so that's very good and it's the same with romania though isn't it for yeah as, as for region Co correct correct and i i i really feel that infrastructure is probably the most important thing. People have to have internet connection, it has to be a fast internet connection, and it just takes time so they get used to doing things online. Second thing is, is trust. It's really important that people know that it's actually secure to buy online and they hear from other people that they had the, all those great deals things they bought and you know people should be basically happy and they shouldn't be worried about receiving a brick in a box right. and that's obviously always a problem in the young markets but with increase uh, of online payments with increase of different type of you know security measures with increase of professional sellers that sell online you know those things are actually it will take time but people will actually see that buying online is safe it's very convenient it's fast and you know, have a great selection and you can actually save money, which is very important, especially right now in the current economic crisis. So those three things definitely are very, very important. And I, I really believe, you know, that e-commerce is something that you cannot stop. It's growing very fast. I mean, worldwide, it's still growing, you know, 10 plus percent year over year. In Poland, we still have like 30, 40 percent year over year growth rate. And I, and I guess for you guys, it's probably still 50, 60 and more. So, you know, I think there is a bright future. The issue is that in Bulgaria and in the region, it's tough to, to measure. But yeah, maybe you're right. We'll see once the measurements are yeah, there I, I, and once you know, there are strict reports, so otherwise it's not possible. We, ha we had the same in Poland. Several years ago, it was very hard to get For sure, proper yeah. data on the yeah. size of the market, of the yeah. size of advertising. But it, it takes time. But once you have more business, once you have more organizations, more people interested in that topics, you know, those things come in place. So how many people you have uh, with PayPal, PayPal accounts from the region? Uh, 
we are a publicly listed company, so we cannot disclose okay. all the exact information country by country, how many users we have. Mm. But so Jennifer, we, we, have, we, have, we have big user base okay. in, in this region. I would say it's several hundred thousand, if okay. not million plus customers. Okay, this is more or less what, what I can okay. give you. But it's, it's growing, it's growing very fast. There are more and more people using that, especially for buying cross-border. Mm -hmm. So imagine, you know, the Leva is getting stronger, it's actually cheaper for you to buy abroad. It's a great deal to actually buy something abroad. Plus, you have a great selection, you have the producers that are selling from all those different countries. You can, you can start using that. So that's mm -hmm. one way of using PayPal. The other way is actually if you're a seller or you produce something, you have a niche product or you have a product that you can do better, faster, cheaper, you can actually export it worldwide. PayPal is the best way to actually get the money for that because people are going to trust you. Of course you're going to say this, you're from PayPal. So <laughs> it's true, I, but yeah, it helps for sure. What I can say is that I, I'm not only talking about it, I actually do that. My wife, uh, you know, she just sells a lot of different things on eBay in UK and uses PayPal as a, as a payment okay. method. We actually do that. We have 200 plus feedback on eBay, so it's working and, it, and it's great. You know, some of those prices wouldn't get on, on the Polish marketplace, we get them in the UK. So it's, it's very exciting. Okay, what do you think, uh, how do e-commerce should change? What, do, what are your expectations? Right, uh, it's, it's hard to say, you know, because things are, are developing so fast. Uh, there are so many changes, you know, who would thought of the web 2.0, you know, several years ago. I remember working for, uh, for a semiconductor company back in 2003 and they started to talk about Bluetooth technology. It was new and like 2009 or you know, six years later, Absolutely. everyone is doing this. It's very hard to predict, but the trend that I see right now in e-commerce, there, there are many of those trends. There, I think that this is a really exciting period for e-commerce because there are so many things happening, mainly because the the technology is, is, is available. You know, you have you have websites where they're selling products where they show the videos with reviews. You have all the you know comparison sites. You have the review sites. You have different feedback models. The whole kind of web 2.0. You know how to connect e-commerce and the social media. Mm -hmm. You know how no one really kind of figured it out, but That's everyone right. is trying. So I think there will be a lot of businesses around it. You know how to use, or you know I guess people will kind of start using let's say Facebook as a, as an e-commerce platform or there will be a mix of blogs and e-commerce you know you write about something but at the same time you're selling the it. mixture of the channels is absolutely the future so, so a lot of, lot of that going on I think cross-border trade uh, is gonna be big right now 7% of online trade in Europe 7% of online buyers in Europe actually bought something cross-border I think it's become it's, it's, it's gonna be bigger and bigger okay. Because I guess you know it's really getting, getting it's, it's really quite simple. You just have to have the courage, maybe understand the language a bit, but you can obviously do it. So a lot of things happening. Obviously, online payments. Uh, what else? These are I think these are these are the major major trends. So it's it's really exciting. One more thing that maybe I can add. You see, you know, a lot of those. You, you have to choose which market you're in and, and who you are. You cannot be in the middle. Either mm. I see the advantage for the big players, like you know Amazon, let's say, that have plenty of goods, they mm. can negotiate really good prices and, and, and give very good service, or you have this whole long tail of small but very specialized right. shops that deliver you one e type shops. of goods. Yeah, yeah e-shops that deliver one type of good and they know everything about it. They can advise you, they can tell you exactly you know, what, what you should buy. The niche markets are very interesting as Homo, so I, I believe that this is also a bright future for them. Yeah, Not absolutely. to be a huge one, but to be a very specialized, very niche shop. So you can you can really provide added value to your customers. Absolutely, I do believe Absolutely. in this also. So, what are the PayPal plans for the region of Southeastern Europe? Right. So I, I think you know when you, when you look at PayPal development, how, how how PayPal develops, and I can tell you that on the example of Poland. So first, you cannot use it. <laughs> it's, initially, it was only open for people in the U.S. Then, the possibility to s actually open up an account and send money was introduced. That was already a big step because you know right. the markets were open. If you didn't have a credit card, PayPal was the way to pay. Uh, what happened next is the receiving functionality and the withdrawing functionality. We have that already in, in, in Bulgaria and in the regions, which is already great. You know, kind of you have, to, you have to keep in mind that, for example, in Poland, the localized site and the team was put in place back in 2006, end of 2006. So it's actually very recently. The market is really big and, and, and growing very fast. So it takes obviously time, but you know, you have already the basic functionality of PayPal, mm -hmm. the, the needed functionality. Mm -hmm. I think what else is definitely needed is the currency. We discussed it earlier. And, and potentially the, the, the localized language version. 
uh, we I can't give you any specific date, but I'm pretty sure it will come because uh, you know it's it's important. Not everyone probably you know feels 100% sure when reading English or, or speaking English. So right. I think it's really important to localize it in the local language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we also even do, do you have it localized for Turkey? Uh, no, it's not, the not whole yet. region is uh, still to be developed. For exactly, PayPal. exactly. We have we have we have some light sites. We have Russian sites. But yeah, we're working on that. I, we, right. we really believe, you know, PayPal is a really a system of millions of users across the world in all different markets connecting to each other. So every new market, every new user from Bulgaria, it's actually, you know, huge added value because it, for the whole network. So we really believe in the expansion. We really want to be worldwide. We already covered 190 regions from the world. There are 19 currencies. We keep on adding new. It, it takes time. It's not an easy business. That's Absolutely. why it takes time. It, it's quite expensive, you know, but but I, I'm, I'm, I think the future is bright, and I, I'm 100% sure that PayPal is going to be popular in, in, in Bulgaria as well and in the region. So besides being one of our keynote speakers, you've done some research here, I'm sure. So is Webit helpful for PayPal? For PayPal or for the e-commerce? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good question. So uh, I think it, it, I think you, can, you, can, you can answer both. Yeah, I think I think it's very helpful, very helpful for both. To be honest, you know, we, we didn't know. I mean, we have some reports, but we didn't know enough about the region. We, I don't I myself, I didn't know enough about the market. So I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to get some research, some numbers. Very happy to get to know the key players because you know, we, even though we don't have a local office, we're very open for collaboration. Absolutely. You, if you have payment companies that want to work with PayPal, that want to integrate PayPal as one of additional payment methods, we're happy to do that. If you have major web shops that are willing to expand and trade cross-border, why don't they accept PayPal? You know, just give them my email address. I'm happy to help them. They should integrate PayPal so we can already have a business even though we're not here. We actually have a dedicated customer support for some the region that we called Greater Europe. So besides that, don't have a local team, okay. but there is a team that actually mm -hmm. can help, can answer questions, can help people start going, you know, how to open up account, how to verify themselves, how to accept the first payments. So all of that is possible and I think it's really great to be here to, you know, see the market, see how much excitement there is around this business. And I think that's also great for the business to have Webit because it grows the awareness. It really shows that this part of the business is important, is dynamic, is growing, and then the, it's always start with the visionaries like you. But you know, it takes time. Thank but I, I'm I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be really big and it's gonna be very important. I mean, it just happens everywhere, you know, like with everything, with TV, cable TV, sat TV, mobile phones. It it all comes and there it works. And yeah, the earlier the better. So I think it's great that you that you organize it. Thank you, President Pulta, PayPal. Poland, thank you for being here. Thank you. thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thanks.